tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks. Several or many of you have Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro X. Others don't. And the people who don't have that, they can download Shotcut, which is a an open source program which enables you to do basic video editing. And the reason why I'm telling you this in this Maya tutorial is because often we render things and we render things into single files in a sequence of files and then we don't know how to handle them, bring them into a high quality video rather than in a, uh, several hundreds of single images. When you go to this icon here you see the render settings and in the render settings uh, you have the image format which I typically change to PNG uh, but you can leave it wherever you like and uh, you don't have anything related to a real movie and that's better anyway because you want single images and uh, that's the typical output of a rendering engine. And now you need to go to frame animation extension here uh, which uh, defaults sort of to name, number and extension. That means um, my animation dot frame uh, one one uh, two two dot png. So that's uh, what we have here. And then you uh, have a start frame and an end frame from one to say 500 and then you go and render these things. And what you have finally is a sequence of images. And the first thing to visualize the animation from a sequence of images is to call up FCheck, which is a program which comes with Maya. So this is what FCheck looks like. It's medieval, it's very old, and it's very lean, and it performs still very well. We go to File and we open an animation. And now we go to the images folder where, where the rendered files are in this case tearing silk cloth and this is the frame number one the next one is frame number two and there's lots of others here and uh, what I'll do now is I just open the first image as an animation and now fcheck loads the sequence of files into memory here you have the frames per second 24 typically or 25 maybe 30 whatever you have and once it's finished, it will play back the animation in a fluent matter. I don't want to show you this here because I just go back to the first images here and you see already that it's doing a nice sequence here. You can scroll and scrub here, but uh, once you reach that end, it needs to recache uh, objects and uh, individual images. Now, FCheck cannot do many things. It can pre-visualize these things but it cannot really make a movie out of these images here. So close it again and I open Shotcut. It's uh, called Shotcut, well I don't know why that is. It's a great little program. And what you do is you open a file. That's the first thing you're gonna do. You navigate to your single images folder and pick the first one. Just as before you see that first file. Now, and that's because this interface is so simple, you go to Properties, and in Properties you see Image Sequence. And here, this is a little bit darker than the rest of the grey here, <laughs> so you tick this, and you see Reading Image Sequence. Give it a break, wait a second until this is gone. Here you have the length, the duration is 23 seconds. So I drag this into the timeline, and here it is. And now I go to export and when you export these things this is very nice indeed for YouTube for example or for WebM for for example Wikimedia Commons but uh, my standard way to go here is the H264 high profile advanced and here I have audio and I disable audio because it's only images I think it doesn't really matter and then I export the file. It's down here. It's not here. This gives us the the <laughs> presets, etc. You need to click here and choose a folder where to place 
that rendered movie, which will be a movie in MP4 format in this case. And once you've done this, you will see here how it renders one frame after the other into one video. It's 10% now. So it's a matter of a minute or so for this quite heavy animation. And once this is done, you can use it wherever you like. You can share it and use it in your projects. And in my case, I use it for my tutorial video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.